Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Great Picture Show. It's been a long time. It sure has. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so we were going to play um, everybody's favorite, Deadly Premonition, on the channel today. And but we said, fuck that. We said, fuck that. <laughs> Because we looked at a lot of the reviews for it, and, uh, you know, people were saying just glorious things about this game. It's fucking awesome! But people were also saying that the PC port was really, really bad. So we don't want to play the PC port because we don't want to suffer game crashes or a bad experience and just have trouble all the way around. So we might find another way to record that later on, but we won't record it right now. This is not a farewell. This is a, we'll see you later. So, so if we get, we're going to come back to it. Because there's no way I'm living this life without making Austin play Deadly Premonition. That's right. Because he's going to hate it to the point where he loves it. Well, so we decided as a good temporary thing we could play I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good dating simulator. This was Austin's idea. This was absolutely 100% Brad's idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to come down here and we're going to... Dating Sims is life. Gonna... Follow me on... Steam as GPS Brad. <laughs> uh, yes. I don't stream. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to cut this pit, this piece out. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Guess we can cut out that part too. <laughs> nope, it's staying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks oh disgusting. Yeah, let's fucking go! Ooh. Ooh. Kawhi Senpuku! Oh, best friend! Chicken strips! Chicken strips! <laughs> Chicken pot pies! <laughs> oh, oh, look at that! Famous it's a bowl. fucking famous bowl! <laughs> Biscuits! It's a failure pile in a sadness bowl! Hey, is it wrong of me to say that Colonel Sanders is hot? Look at his dick prints! <laughs> Wow. That was beautiful. Okay. Colonel Sanders Senpai. Wow. What are the settings? Before we get into this bitch. Full screen. Look at that. Look, it's fucking drumsticks. I love it. Prioritize quality, just like on this channel. That's, that's right. <laughs> mm. New game! Ah, no difficulties. Just like I... Oh. It's a fucking dating hey, sim. What's our what's our name? Um, Taco Bell. No. <laughs> you gotta think of something better than that. Come on. Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a fast food place. It could be literally... It literally is the best name for this game, but okay. <laughs> you... <laughs> Ronald. Why? Why? Why don't... <laughs> you know, we're just, we'll just do Taco Bell. You know, I'm just going to do Taco Bell. Just Taco. It's too late. Ooh. Nugget biscuit, screen. nugget in a biscuit. We don't bring up Tabuscus, okay? Why? Because he, like, assaulted that girl. Oh! <laughs> Oh you no! Sleep, you sleep softly <laughs> as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Look at that fucking poster! Look at, look at this shit! <laughs> That's fucking amazing! Ooh. It's Fist of the North Star fucking <laughs> cock! <laughs> okay. Oh, the shit. world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. I could. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, we got a, we got a first decision. Do we throw the clock okay, out you, the window? Okay, do you want to do, do and you... stay in bed forever, or do we smack that clock and go up and at him? Okay, we're only gonna fuck Colonel Sanders if we smack that clock and go up and at him. But it, the path less traveled is to throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. But. We have to take turns on this. It can't just be one person doing this. You go first. Okay, I'll go first. This is your I'm decision. I'm smacking it, and we're getting up. You're going to make the next decisions, and then we'll go back and forth. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling. 
thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Sounds like Food Wars. Your mind begins to wander. I wonder what he's thinking about. You think he's thinking about Colonel Sanders Cock. already? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who will be there? What will you... Don't step on my fucking lines. <laughs> what should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Take this seriously or you will allow yourself to daydream it thinking about the future. What do you think? Let's get fucking serious about this shit. Taco Bell says, <laughs> <laughs> I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Hey, can I be the voice of Colonel Sanders? You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed. Hair combed. Pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You've already voiced Taco Bell. So you I'm confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, <laughs> and head off to class. <laughs> That's what you need to the get same your blood goddamn blood. animation for Nugget Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Brad, do you want to be Miriam? Good morning, Taco Bell. Are you excited for the first day for the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm. Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? She's fucking crying, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Classic Miriam. Raised by <laughs> Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. But with the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, what? <laughs> I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. <laughs> She's genuinely terrified, like... Jesus, this is going to be a fast playthrough. <laughs> a sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first, her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. That's some Austin shit. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or charge, or I'm sorry, or change Ooh. the subject to give her some relief? Hmm. What are you gonna do to me, Austin? Well, you know, I'm gonna think I'm gonna pep talk you. Okay. I think, I think you deserve a little bit of a pep talk. All righty then. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller <clears throat> and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget! Well, this is just awful. I didn't even mean to bring any of this up. <laughs> <laughs> I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I can call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. <laughs> can you believe I cut them myself? Well, yeah, they look like fucking shit. <laughs> you can definitely <laughs> believe them. <laughs> Believe it! Believe it, you pussy! <laughs> I, uh, I cannot believe it. It's not butter. <laughs> Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Who else can I be? Hey! <laughs> it's Ashley, <laughs> your arch rival. <laughs> She's totally evil. But God, that fucking sharp tooth! <laughs> <clears throat> but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, finish the sentence. <laughs> she can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Including... Hello, <laughs> Ashley. Oh, I didn't see their chicken shins. You leave Taco Bell's shins alone! <laughs> they are perfectly normal shins! <laughs> uh, you can't stand <laughs> Ashley. Even her name is a I can't handle those thighs. You, damn, you was right. I didn't even notice. All right, that damn, that girl, thick. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley 
but she had to add little extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. You damn right. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. <laughs> We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friends. Van Van, <laughs> Van Van the Man Man. Do you want to be Van Van the Man Man? <laughs> <laughs> or, do, or are you okay being Taco Bell and the narrator? <laughs> I, if you got a good voice for Van Van the Man Man. I have to see him. Okay, I you're have right. to see him. Finish has, the fucking Has thing. stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. Okay, we know exactly the type of character Van Van is. Are his we pants sure? are so tight, you can actually see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. It's Desmond. No lie. They're rocking <laughs> glutes. Let's find out. <clears throat> Van Van! Oh shit! <laughs> you rang rang! <laughs> it's a goddamn JoJo character! <laughs> You've never been sure what their arrangement is. fucking JoJo posing! <laughs> look at his hair, it's a fucking star! It's a fucking star! But look at his shirt, it's literally just around his neck and exposing his fucking sides! His it's a bib! Belt. I love it. Jesus Christ, it's Majin Buu. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you, as you and Miriam, and substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, would even allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. You cocky bitch. <laughs> Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you, fuck. Either it's you or Adam has to come in here and read this shit. <laughs> I'll try to read it, okay? <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Guys, if you didn't know what Austin looked like in high school... <laughs> you don't... You shut your fucking mouth. You didn't... You barely knew me in high school. I didn't know you in high school. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! <laughs> I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop! I was named after my Pop Pop! He's old! Jesus Christ, it's Austin. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm Taco Bell. So, are you going to make me hold the door this hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug <laughs> your shoulders before following him into the building. Miriam, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You stand at the edge of the... Who is this? Is that fucking... No, is that Ted Cruz? Uh, no. <laughs> also, what fucking class starts at fucking... What is this, 1220? At lunchtime. It's a lunch... Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they even, Get it! They even got the fucking... You fucking get, he, got a, he got a fucking bucket meal. Mm. The Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> god damn. Anyway, uh, you stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy, uh, chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking <laughs> pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Oh my you, god. Okay, It's the teacher. Who's gonna do sprinkles? You? you now, were... now, quiet down, everyone. It's Judd Judd. <laughs> Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me <laughs> Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! <laughs> what? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. 
Out of nowhere, the wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry, cherry blossom petals fill the air inside of the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He yeah! <laughs> If we, we are fucking this motherfucker before the end of this. <laughs> Should I do my Norm MacDonald voice? <laughs> <laughs> You're immediately swept up into the aurora of the new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. You better give him the best fucking voice I've Don't ever Don't put heard. me on the spot. <laughs> it, it's him! It's... <laughs> if it isn't my favorite student, Harland... What?! <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. What a shitty Colonel voice. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to do my fu Okay, what what should Colonel get? Make him, the, make does him he want gay. it sexy or gay? Make him, make him gay. God damn it, where's Lane? <laughs> <laughs> Please, call me Colonel. Oh, I love it. It's so lusty. Let's <laughs> keep that. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. Ooh. <laughs> a hushed murmur <laughs> rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the He's aisle. He's got a fucking desk. shoulder pocket. Shh. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat Ooh. across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Horny era. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. You fucking cunt. <laughs> Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. Nobody talked to my friend like that. <laughs> you two both know my name. It's Taco Bell, by the way. Uh, we were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all of your really weird insults? Besides, when Taco Bell sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Could you imagine, like, Taco Bell sweating? Like, <laughs> I mean, there's only one option. I guess you gotta take a moment to clean we're yourself not, up. We're, we're not going to count this as your no, decision. No, 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 no. God, no. I would yeah. be mad. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. Uh, this classroom is hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> uh... Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. Ooh. You will lift your sparks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Who is this? I don't know. Who? 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 Star-Lord. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! <laughs> what the fuck is he standing like that for? Later class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue. You're the f on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year back to this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. I thought I gonna shit on you. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it in here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. What the fuck? You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial... It's forky. Industrial <laughs> kitchen appliance. Work. 